Uh, it's Sunday. And there's numb nuts down there. Hey, numb nuts, poke your head up. Ronnie! Ronnie from Cronaspia, whatever the fuck that means. So it's Sunday and he thinks, well, let's go to Henning and let's have him build my pedal board because I'm Ronnie from Cronaspia. You know, I'm really famous. I don't touch it like that. So, you know, he brings everything pretty much. L look at this. Come on, look at this. This is just ridiculous. You know, there. Still in the box. So yeah, he brings everything still in the box, so I got the work. I hope he got the money. Anyway, so we're building his board now, and of course, how can I possibly build a board, do it fast, get him out of here so I have a Sunday so I can build my ferret room? That's not a synonym for where I spanked my girlfriend, that's actually a room for a ferret, trust me. It's weird. And um, and so, so I, I gotta do this now, and I have to do it with the camera because you guys are freaking nuts and you watch me build pedal boards for some reason. So we're gonna do this. Um, we have, I'm gonna, are you gonna come on the floor with me? You're gonna get down. So let's see what we have here. That looks about right. That's my nose right there, right there. Sorry for the room sound. I'm gonna use some plugins to reduce that, but you know what? That's, that's the easiest way to do it. We have, Four meter of black silk cable from Zomer. We're not gonna put this in the camera too much because Zomer hasn't given me shit so far. So fuck that. Um, we have Hikon plugs. Pancake, 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 pancake. Hey, pancake plugs. And then we have the Zomer Spirit XXL with Hikon plugs, pre-manufactured. And he's not using a looper, so they should be absolutely fine. This is another straight to something, something cable. He is the incomparable Milos Popovich Geniak, which is pretty much, Ronnie, that's, you have to have that shit on the board, right? Of course. Of course. I think we're gonna have to stop the camera at some point because I'm gonna have to solder this stuff for some reason. We have the POG, that looks like it's a very big, Pedal. No, it's not. This. So it comes. The pog comes with its own power supply, which gives me 200 milliamps at 9.6 volts. 9.6. Can we just power it with nine and say it's okay? I guess we'll find out. If not, we go on the Google and find out because the Google has the information. I don't know. So we have the plug, and that's of course the super high-end, not so much aluminum kind of casing with a sticker on it. How much is this? Too much. How much? Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to say because his girlfriend's in the room and he'd be embarrassed. Around 220. Around 224. Okay, well, you know, if it does, it's not the big pog, it's the, the little pog. Micro pog. The micro pog. And I have no idea what he's gonna do with this because pretty much he needs a crunch sound and that's pretty much all he does. So I don't, I, you know, he's shaking his head. No. Are you doing experimental jazz fusion <laughs> things? Yeah. Well, then you need that. Of course. <laughs> um, we have the classic flanger from Harley Benton, my friends at Harley Benton, which of course are my friends at Joyo. Pretty, that's a steal for the money. We have an SD1, which I think he bought because at some point I told him buy an SD1. That's a good, that's a tube screamer pretty much. Am I gonna get in, into jail for this? Am I gonna, am I breaking some, some rules here? It's a tube screamer style pedal. I always say to be screamy kinda. So, so we got four pedals, that's good, right? That's all we... No. No. We have the brand new pedal train. Now that's a kick-ass case, I'm gonna say. 
We could put two, th maybe three cats in here and move them somewhere without the cats being in any danger. Holy motherfucker of a board. The FUV 50, FUV, FUV, that's the volume. Plays metal. What does he need a volume pedal for? Full on blast all the time. We're not putting that on there. So, okay, here, here are some options. I'm gonna present Ronnie with some options for Velcro. Okay, Ronnie, come here. Come here. Here, Ronnie, so. So you hold this, this is the black Velcro. We're gonna un unzip this and this is your black Velcro. You can have this. Alternatively, I can present you oh. with this. That's beautiful pink. We also have a nice green. But I'm thinking pink is probably more Ronnie's style. So we have pink. Pink is the new black. Green. Pink is the new black. We also have purple, but this is reserved for Nick West's pedal board because when you play with Prince, you need purple. So, what nice. do you think? Very good. You think black, right? Yeah, of course. Later. They actually <coughs> did send me pink Velcro. Okay, yeah. I don't quite understand <laughs> <laughs> why. So, let's go and go zoom in to this cornucopia of pedals that he brought. Okay. This is all ghetto style filming here, so I apologize for that. We have a Joyo Quattro, which we don't have because it's right here. Which is really for the money, that's a, that's a killer, killer delay. Of course, we have a second Gainiac because one Gainiac is just not enough. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually tape these together and then it sounds twice as good. Vintage Overdrive, 2B Screamy, then of course it's the question is SD1 or Vintage Overdrive. It's, again, tape them together, <laughs> Velcro them together, give them 24 <laughs> volts. <coughs> I don't know. So we have, we're probably gonna only pick one of these. We have the Woolly Mammoth, which I've never played, but apparently it's very good, from Zivix. Phase 90, good old one knob phaser. Corona course from our friends at TC Electronic. They know what the shit they're doing. <coughs> the ultimate drive for <laughs> sounds, but they're, you know, that's what they do. And uh, who needs to tune? That's just lame. You need to tune? Yeah. Why don't you use a TC Electronic polytune clip? Hmm. 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 What he says is, meh. Hmm. And then we got a Chox. I think that's how you say that. But I think it's stupid to say that. I'm sorry, Paul, 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 from, uh, his name is Chox. Because everyone's gonna say Seahawks. So we're gonna say Seahawks because that's what it says on the box. I'm sorry. Seahawks on the box. And, um. Yeah, but I mean, come on. That, that's just black. Give me, give me the alternative. Also, oh. So this is the Seahawks DC-10. Very, very cool power supply. And for, you know, a little bit more money, you get the same thing, but like this. It's called the Pussy Power. And it's purple. A purple? No. It's pink. Like a pussy. And, um, you know, and it's got a vagina on it. That's just awesome. Who wants this? Ronnie's really lame, isn't he? Come on, this? That's just black. That's just awesome. Black? Awesome. We're gonna use black. So, awesome. what pedal train is that that you got here? Um, the Something 18. So no. the N Novo 18. Novo means that the uh, spaces down here are shorter 
and you have wider space up here. The DC-10, if I understand correctly, does not fit underneath here. No, it does not. But we might, technically we might be able to fit it in somewhere else. Wait. If we wanted to fit it underneath, I think we could. We could also put it on top, which would work, yep, like this. Put it on top and put the woolly mammoth on top and you really haven't lost any space. Well, we're gonna play around with that and we'll see you once we figure out what we do and we turn the camera back on and then we bore you even more. And here's Rafa from Campaign of Clockwork. Hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye, he Captain says. The, the key of you you have. I have the key. Uh, you, you hold. What? You hold? You hold. This is English. This is not English. This is what my students learn from me. Oh my god. Congo! You hold. How about you shut it? Have a nice Sunday. Trying to. Bye bye. Hello? Okay, so you might have seen that we wanted the Chox Seox DC-10 uh, on top because it works, it's flat, you could put the pedal on it but by accident we went through the uh, box of the Chox we went through the Chox box and found this thing which seems to be some kind of mounting utensil and there was nothing in the manual on how to do this, so we googled it. Google is awesome. We almost googled an arm aus. Ah. Ah, arm aus gegoogelt. Ah, it's, it's only funny in German and e even there it's borderline stupid. Um, so um, where was I? So what happens is you actually mount this like this at the bottom. No, like this. <laughs> And then you can actually mount it under a pedal train board, which will result in it kind of free floating and being mounted on two screws right here, which are not supplied, but I happen to have them in my kitchen. So you're going to witness us trying to do just that. Here we go. <coughs>
Oh. <laughs> so, we have uh, made a couple of decisions, as you could clearly see. Um, we did not put the woolly mammoth on here, because Ronnie does not need the woolly mammoth. Um, and we didn't put the volume on here, because I told him to frickin' learn to use his guitar volume. So, that had a... a um, teaching aspect and be the aspect of me not having to find space for the volume. So I don't know which was more important. I'm going to say the teaching aspect. Um, we have the chromatic tuner. A tank can't break this. Going into the MXR... I'm going to turn this around for you. Going into the MXR phase 90 because we want the subtle Van Halen type phase for which you have to put the phase in front of the drive. Uh, the drive being an ultimate uh, the, 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 the vintage overdrive from Joyo. Um, going into a Milos Popovich Ganiac, the edition where you use the flippy switch, because it's a little bit small and fits the board better. Then into a TC Electronic Corona Chorus, which TC Electronic, hello, I still don't have one, what the fuck? Um, going into a classic flanger from Harley Benton slash Joyo. Um, actually, no, that's going into the POG, because we wanted the POG behind the drives. Um, going into the modulation. Um, this quattro delay is sitting here very much by itself and lonely, and it's crying a little bit. But that is simply because he wants it in the effects loop, and he wants to be able to put two straight jacks into it, so that's why we have it right here. It's got power, and beautifully, as you can, we've covered, we have the... Uh, Chucks, D Seox, whatever, DC-10 underneath. It is solid as a rock. You can't move this. It's a very cool system. Um, kind of free-floating, getting air from all sides. And uh, we even have room for more. There's two 200 milliamp outputs, 9, at 9 or 12. Um, we have two 400 milliamp outputs. One could be uh, 12 or 15. It's It has power up the wazoo. Everything zip tight. A very small, logical and effective board, which we now will plug in and play some things through my brand new Mesa 25 Mark something with 550 Mark mini thing amp. You know, that one. And now we're testing the board with my Quenzel M3 and uh, my brand new Miss Boogie uh, Mark 525, which is kind of cool. Outside the world is ending in rain. Sorry, we're just using the uh, directional mic because I'm lazy. Because the camera is pointing this way and and you're only hearing the the speaker from the side no you're not because i have the amazing deflex in front of him oh but hochleitner developed these um no matter where you stand you hear a perfect freaking sound it's true if you don't believe me go away <laughs> Thank you. 
also noises like a motherfucker. And then we have the Corona Chorus, which I've never had the pleasure of using because I don't have one! So far, I hear nothing. Is it that subtle? This was, I think. So, um, and we have the beautiful quattro delay, which we can put, of course, on filter mode and do really cool stuff with it. Did I put it on filter mode? No, I did not. kind of not a clean channel anymore, I think it would be a crunch channel, and I'm boosting it with Joyo's Vintage Overdrive, 
while the Quattro from Joyo Iron Man series is in the serial effects loop of the Mesa Boogie Mark 525. Try to say that. <laughs> Ronnie's board. I go have cake now.